the lord says even if you are masturbating he is there to help you he does not see the sin in you but he wants to set you free so that you shall overcome the fears you shall overcome the shame you shall stop self denying yourself and you shall also feel victorious praise the lord dear children of god my beloved ones from today the lord god has sent me to help you with all your problems where you are not able to find a solution by the power of his holy blood by the agreement of the word of god and the spirit of truth your pastor prophetess grace nishida is going to help you with anything and everything that you are suffering because the lord wants to set you free on earth as it is in heaven since last one year i have received so many emails where people are suffering because of the sexual desires they are masturbating and i have received emails from people of all the ages starting from 15 year old to the elderly people no matter where they are ministers of god whether they are brothers and sisters in christ whether they are pastors preachers apostles they are into masturbation and this is the demonic attack that is controlling them the power of jezebel but today with the elijah anointing since this is the year of vengeance the elijah anointing is going to take vengeance on the spirit of jezebel and dear children of god today we are going to expose the spirit of jezebel by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus so from today i am starting this new series help me pastor where your pastor that means me i am going to help you being led by the holy spirit and today we are going to set you free from the demonic attack where you are masturbating you are addicted to masturbation and you want to overcome it the lord says vengeance is mine and the battle is also of the lord you are masturbating because your flesh is weak and even then the lord is saying that i do not condemn you so the battle is of the lord and the vengeance is of the lord but the lord has everything against the wicked spirit of jezebel and we see this in revelation chapter 2 verse 20 so we are going to fight this battle all together your pastor is going to help you by the power of his blood word of god and the anointing the presence of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus the lord says nevertheless i have this against you you tolerate that woman jezebel who calls herself a prophet by her teaching she misled my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols verse 21 says i have given her time to repent of her immorality but she is unwilling so the lord says in verse 22 so i will cast her on a bed of suffering and i will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways so dear children of god if we read the message bible it is more severe in wordings against the spirit of jezebel in the message bible revelation chapter 2 verse 20 it says but why do you let that jezebel who calls herself a prophet misled my dear servants into cross denying self indulging religion i gave her a chance to change her ways but she has no intention of giving up a career in the god business i am about to lay her low along with her partners as they play their sex and religion games the bastard of spring of their idol warring ill kill then even church will know that appearances don't impress me i extra every motive and make sure you get what's coming to you because jezebel is known as prostitute so her children are known as the bastards and 
we the children of God we do not have power but we have the authority in the name of Jesus and we have the power of the Holy Spirit so it is not by your power it is not by your might but by the power of the holy spirit by the power of his precious blood and the word of god when the three come in an agreement you are delivered so let's understand why you are being attacked why you are doing this sin why you are addicted who tempted you and why this is happening when you know the truth with understanding you are delivered no matter what all you have to do is to understand the kingdom of god who is troubling you and why they are troubling you and what is the way how is jesus going to help me how is the word of god going to help me how is the blood of jesus going to set you free it is true that jezebel and her partners her partners are the wicked witches and the spiritual husbands and wives so along with devil jezebel will partner and form a network with the spiritual husbands and wives and the wicked witches to tempt you so that you shall have the sexual desires in your flesh that is of the earth now due to this you should receive holy communion and that to in the most appropriate way in the holy manner being led by the holy spirit sanctifying yourself by the precious blood of jesus by the hands of the anointed pastors after that you shall receive the participation the communion in the flesh and the blood of our lord god jesus christ due to which you shall easily be able to overcome the weakness of the flesh once you are receiving the holy communion once you are receiving the power of his flesh and his holy blood jezebel and her partners they won't be able to touch your flesh because now your flesh will be the transformed one this is the reason from the beginning i preach about transformation this is the transformation that we need we are transformed from evil flesh to the flesh of our lord god jesus christ from the evil blood to the blood of our lord god jesus christ and we receive this transformation when we participate in the holy communion when we participate when we come in an agreement to the word of god to his blood and to the anointing of our lord god jesus christ the lord also says take my yoke so today for your deliverance the lord is saying that you shall receive his yoke and his yoke shall break every bondage of the wicked jezebel and with the elijah anointing i am sending you the elijah anointing so we also have the unity in christ we have the unity of his spirit the unity of his blood the unity of the word of god the unity in the name of jesus and we are breaking the yoke of the evil wicked jezebel very easily in the mighty name of jesus amen now as we read the message word it is written she has no intention of giving up a career in god business you will always find that jezebel is interfering in your life the spirit of jezebel trouble you from some or the other way either someone in your church will come and trouble you someone in your neighborhood even if you are walking on the road someone will come and tease you and trouble you and try to hurt you try to condemn you due to this you will be forced into self condemnation as a result you will be driven you will be forced into depression and you will start calling yourself as unholy and you will have a lot of guilt but the lord says do not have self condemnation do not be sin conscious because you should know the truth that you have been cleansed and washed by his precious blood and he is the one who is the compassionate god where you should receive punishment he has come with eternal life forgiveness and impartial love for you where you should receive death and punishment he has come to give you life on earth as it is in heaven the word of god also says i am about to lay her low along with her partners as they play their sex and religion games now jezebel along with her network 
they will play this lust, this pornography, this temptation and religion game. So you will be forced to bow down in front of the idols. You will be pulled into some other religion. You shall be tempted to leave our Lord God Jesus Christ. And this will come with such a great force that you will start falling weak unless and until you have the power of the Holy Spirit. Due to this, you should always speak in tongues, always pray, always remain in faith so that you shall become the overcomer. And if you are not able to do it on your own, the Lord has sent me to help you. When I read your emails, it is so painful because you want to be set free and you are forced to masturbate. You are forced to do it even when you are not willing. You want to repent, but you are not able to help yourself. So the Lord says that the word of God with this prophetic anointing that I have is going to help you. And we have the blood of Jesus to protect you. And henceforth, the wicked spirit of Jezebel and her network shall be rebuked out of your soul and out of your flesh right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare over the life of my beloved ones that you belong to our Lord God Jesus Christ and I mark your forehead by the Holy Cross, by the Holy Name of our Lord God Jesus Christ. I cover your complete body, your flesh by the precious blood of Jesus. And for Jezebel, the Lord says, I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways. You have come here for repentance. You have come here because you do not want to sin, but you are helpless. But this prophetic word is going to help you. This word of God is going to help you. In verse 23, the Lord says, I will strike her children dead. Now this is going to cast out, this word is going to cast out Jezebel and her network out of your life completely. She and her network, Jezebel and her network are going to leave your flesh right now. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Hallelujah. With this word, with the blood of Jesus and with the power of the Holy Spirit, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. So after reading the word of God, dear children of God, we are going to pray a small prayer so that you shall be completely delivered and protected. And we thank our Lord God Jesus Christ for this word, for this deliverance, for this help that he has sent for you. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord God Jesus Christ. And we thank you for this prophetic word, this anointing, O Lord God Jesus Christ, your precious blood. O Lord, we receive the word from Revelation 2, 20 against the spirit of Jezebel, her wickedness, and we also condemn the wickedness of Jezebel. We condemn the wicked spirits, the witches, and also the spiritual husband and wife who are pulling your children into sexual desires. Oh Lord God, forgive their sins. And according to your word, let the punishment come on Jezebel and her network and let your dear children be delivered and set free now by your holy yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says, even if you are masturbating, he is there to help you. He does not see the sin in you, but he wants to set you free so that you shall overcome the fears. You shall overcome the shame. You shall Stop self-denying yourself and you shall also feel victorious. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand.
Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you, you shall walk the walk of righteousness.